will help us to understand and it will affirm many things in the Bible, particularly the book of Genesis. Particularly the book of Genesis. And if Genesis is not true, you can throw the rest of it out. Because all the Bible refers back to the beginning. And Jesus referred many times to the beginnings. And sin and salvation mean nothing if there was no creation and no fall and no temptation. You can throw the whole lot out if Genesis is not true. So let's see what the Chinese have to say about Genesis. We're going to touch on four areas. Creation, the fall, the flood and the Tower of Babel. And before we do that we need a crash course in Chinese. There is a mouth. Some people have bigger ones than that. Preachers need mouths like this at times. The Chinese look at that and instead of a hieroglyphic they create what's called a pictogram. And they say, right, that's a mouth, so that's the symbol for mouth or a person. You know, we say we've got five mouths to feed, it means you've got five people. You don't have a mouth detached from a person. Or it can mean spoken words. So there it is, and that is a tree, very obviously. And that's two trees, or it can be a garden or a forest, depending on the context. So if we put them together, we have a person in a garden. Or we have words spoken in a garden by a person. Depends on the context. Now that you know Chinese, we're ready to go. So let's look at the flood and see what the Bible says here. Noah with his sons, his wife and his sons' wives went into the ark. How many people were there? Eight. Yes. Eight people. The Chinese word for big boat is chuan. Or ship. It's not a canoe. The Chinese word for canoe is different. This is a big boat, big vessel or a ship, if we're talking about the Queen Mary, it's Chuen. The Chinese word for Big Ben, the first time it was ever created, is made up of these components. A vessel, Zhao. The other piece there on the top right of it is the number eight, or Ba. And then the rest of it underneath it, you should know what that is. What's that symbol? Eight mouths, eight people in a boat. The first time the Chinese coined the word big boat. Before Moses, before the time when Moses wrote the book of Exodus, <clears throat> the Chinese put eight people in a boat when they talked about a big boat. And they didn't get it from Genesis. Because Genesis wasn't even written yet. Genesis was written around 1500 BC. Some scholars say 1400 BC. I'm not going to quarrel. Chinese writing goes back 2500 BC. Where did they get this from? Amazing, isn't it? And this is how we're going to progress this meeting. I'm going to peel back in this, using this methodology some of these Chinese characters and you'll walk out of this church today and you'll treat your faith a lot more seriously than you probably are at the moment. And any doubts that you've got will evaporate. Thank God for the Chinese. Now let's look at something in creation. The word for create, we find that in Genesis 1, God created man. In Psalm it says he spoke and it was done. The Chinese word for create is zhao. And it's made up of these components. Word spoken, there's the mouth. Word spoken. And as words were spoken, 
movement happened. When God spoke, it happened. Living things began to move. This is the ancient Chinese word for create. You say something and it, it happens. It moves. Now you would have thought if these people did not know the creation story, the word for create would have been making something. A mouth with a hammer and a chisel creating something. But this is not saying that at all. This is saying as words were spoken it happened. And that's exactly what the Bible says. God created man, he spoke and it was done. Isn't that amazing? God formed man from the dust of the ground we're told. And God breathed into the man's nostrils the breath of life and man became a living being. We're familiar with this text. Let me just peel it back in the Chinese and show you how this all lines up. If I take that word Zhao and just look at that top bit. It is made up of dust plus a mouth or man who becomes a living being. And that is buried there in the word create. Not only were words spoken and it happened, but as we take the character apart, we find the dust and breath created a living being just as the Bible says. Isn't that amazing? Where did they get this from? Oh, they got it from Genesis. No, they didn't, because Genesis wasn't even written yet. Now, when we think of China, we think of, well, they're not a Christian country, they're into Taoism.